Hi everyone, welcome back to another mukbang. Today I am back with some Arby's. I have crispy fish sandwich with, with mozzarella sticks and curly fries. And I made some spaghetti. This one is with pork belly and mushrooms. And instead of just using marinara sauce, I mixed it with the, the instant carbonara fire noodle sauce. So it tastes like spaghetti, but it's cheesy and spicy. And then for drink, I have Coke. Uh, so I was supposed to get the jalapeno poppers. I think every like three orders I make from DoorDash, there's always, you know, one out of three orders. Um, there's always like a mistake, which is kind of annoying, but they're really good about giving credit back. So um, I was supposed to have jalapeno poppers, but it's just mozzarella cheese stick and curly fries. I remember having their fish sandwich. I don't know if it was like a spicy one, but it was like a limited time thing. And that was really good. So I want to try the regular one. Mmm. Mmm. What I can say. I think the biggest difference with this one and like when you see you have at McDonald's or even Burger King, I think the sauce is a little sweeter, I think. Mm. Okay. I have not had curly fries in a really long time. Mm. What does curly fries remind you of? It strongly. Oh! Oh, there is jalapeno peppers. Poppers. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so I, I think they gave me so much curly fries, it just sat on top of the jalapeno peppers, but I do have it. Yeah, I feel bad. <laughs> that I probably can't even edit that out because, I don't know, I probably talked so, like, much. <laughs> Guys, it was my mistake. I am so sorry. It's like, okay, but when I looked, opened the box and I looked inside, there was like, Two curly fries, set of two, set of two curly fries. So the extra curly fries I gave to my husband because I thought that was two, you know, instead of one. But whatever, he could keep it. <laughs> so help me, poppers. Mmm, 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 no oh, man. Anyways, the jalapeno peppers. The curly fries really remind me of high school because I think on good days, I think I looked forward to curly fries during lunchtime. They didn't always have it. So I really look forward to that in high school. Um, but I didn't use the cafeteria food until like last year or year and a half of high school year i think before that either i like um brought my own food or yeah i actually don't remember what i did but i remember eating salads a lot because they, they used to have a salad bar i love the salad bar there um, and i lost a lot of weight actually because of that mm. 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 Pong's watching Aiden and Aiden's been a little fussier lately and I don't think it's anything I don't know I don't know what's going on like it's not like to the point where like oh my god is, is, is he okay like is he uncomfortable is he sick it's not like that he's just a little fussier 
If anything, I think it's just a stage. <laughs> just so materialistic. These look a little different like than what I'm used to. Like, I feel like the normal materialistics, I would see more like breadcrumb texture. But this one looks more like a wet, like a wet batter. Good. Mm. Mm, I actually thought these two would go really well. I was gonna do like a different instant noodle to pair it, but I thought I want spaghetti as well, so. Mm. I don't know. Look, this shirt's gotta go, so. I have Aiden's blueberry mug here. <laughs> so, how are you guys, like, coping with. Oh, I, I guess this doesn't apply to everybody, but Chicago's been really, really cold lately. Like, every day is negative, like, negative 5, up to, like, negative 11. So that means not only it's cold, it's very dry, and babies are very sensitive to that. And, you know, it's just, it's, I've been learning it the hard way. Because I thought I kept them pretty, you know, good. But one day he was just so dried up. Like, his, like, he was having reactions. I'm pretty sure it's because like the entire house was so dry. His face was like turning like red and you know flaky and he just wasn't feeling well. So currently in Aiden's nursery we have two humidifiers and I feel like that's like one's definitely not enough. Um but even with two humidifiers, like one's one of those the Frida ones, the other one is more it's a little bigger. And those two keep the room at like 45, 50. Uh, I wanted a 60, especially like, I think I think 60 is most ideal for Aiden, but um, I'll, I'll take 50 or 40. So he's been better. I even tried the hanging wet clothes or wet towels, but To me, from my experience, it wasn't as effective a humidifier. So you guys know that Aiden has been going to a daycare, like a short one, and after he got sick from it, I, we haven't gone back. We could, but when we were about to go back, the weather just dropped like crazy, like negative five, negative six, negative ten. So um, we're like, okay, let's just wait until it's just above zero. <laughs> Because, like, when, you know, like, I don't know if you guys ever, if you guys were ever in that kind of a cold weather, but once you go out, you're, like, everything just kind of freezes. Like, not freeze, but, like, it starts to freeze. Definitely don't want that for my child. I actually had some plans this week with Aiden, you know, to visit people, to go to places, but everything is just canceled. So Aiden had, or he picked up 
Bronco Broncolitis Broncolitis That's a little different from bronchi bronchitis I think bronchitis is when like the larger vessels are infected But I think bronchitis is smaller vessel It might be like it might be different like it might be vice versa So, so we actually went to the doctors. I actually couldn't tell. I don't know if I'm just not familiar with it, but apparently Aiden was wheezing a lot. And Tom was concerned. My mom was concerned. I mean, I was concerned too, but I'm just like, what's wheezing? <laughs> we thought that, you know, even though he doesn't look like, because he wasn't like, it wasn't to the point where like he couldn't, move or anything like I heard that when babies are really sick they just like they don't even cry but Aiden was crying he was playing he was fussy but um but he was coughing here you know he was coughing a lot his nose was still like really wet so we concluded that let's just get it checked out and hear from the doctor that it's okay so we did go to the doctors and um the doctor checked and he told me that oh it looks like he's like he's so and the doctor said he's breathing okay. Uh, it doesn't look like pneumonia. I was actually really concerned that it was pneumonia because um, I heard some cases it's like permanent damage. So I'm like, uh, shit, <laughs> you know? Um, so he said it doesn't look like pneumonia, but he wanted to check for R RSV. So we're like, okay. And we got the result like in the, on the spot. They just had to like swap his nose. Thankfully, it wasn't RSV. I think RSV is a little bit more like a severe than bronchitis. Uh, so thankfully, it wasn't that. Doctor told us to treat it like a regular cold, and we went home. And literally, like I think that night, he already looked better. It was just really funny. And of course, everyone in the house got sick. I think it's just inevitable. I definitely got sick, but I think I had the least, like, mine was the, like, the, like, the ease, how do you say it? Like, I think mine was the weakest, <clears throat> but everyone told me that, you know, if your kid goes to daycare, it just, it's like, you can't avoid it, they'll get sick. And a lot of people want their kids to get sick to build immune system. Which I get it, but at the same time, like, it really stinks to take care of a sick baby because you just, there's really nothing you can do, especially, like, if they're an infant. Like, there's no safe and effective medicine for cold. Uh, Tylenol is for, like, really, like, severe pain or uh, fever. And Aiden wasn't really having that, so I'm like, do I give him Tylenol or do I, do I not? Because he wasn't having a fever. And I don't want to just give him medicine, you know, like without like being 100% sure that he needs it. You know, before Aiden, <clears throat> I really did not mind get, mind getting sick. Like, yes, it sucks, but whatever. I'll rest. I'll take medicine, and I'll just like you know, kind of have a like a cozy chill day because I'm sick. But man, once you have a baby, you can't afford to get sick. And even if you are, you can't rest. <laughs> and of course, if it's severe, you have to, but like a light cold, like, oh yeah, I gotta still do stuff. <laughs> and I think even for Tony, it was like that too, because whenever he's sick, he's like, he becomes like the biggest baby, but this time, 
Yeah, like I can't get sick. I don't want to get. I don't want to get eaten sick again. And he just, you know, just, like I think that, I think through this experience, I know we're changing. I know we're growing. But this was like kind of a pretty obvious one, I think. Okay, to some people it might seem like, why are you like already planning this? But I started planning for Aiden's uh, first birthday party. If you guys are not familiar, first birthday party for a Korean family is a pretty big deal. I mean, it's a tradition to celebrate it bigger. <laughs> It's called Tor, and they do this thing called Tor Japi where you lay out like different items that uh, resembles an occupation. Like what kind of person or what kind of job or career is he gonna have later? It's for, you know, it's a tradition, but you know, it's, it's for fun too, you know? Mm, for example, <clears throat> a pencil means that it's a little different depending on like families and like the region you're from in Korea, I think. But a pencil means that you're gonna do something that has to do with like books or you're just gonna be smart. Like book smart. Um, money is, you know, do I have to explain it? <laughs> money means you're gonna be really wealthy. Um, there is a yarn, yarn, right? What is it called yarn? That means that you're gonna have a long, prosperous life. Oh, and there's a stereoscope, <laughs> right? That means you're gonna become a doctor. There's that stomping thing. That means you're gonna become a lawyer. Or you're gonna do something related to law. Hmm. And they've been adding, adding a little bit more stuff. I don't remember what, but. And. Our generation, like the millennials, they have been doing something a little bit more fun, like a fun twist to it. Like they do the traditional one and they do like a fun one. Like some people do like Pokemon, which Pokemon is going to pick. Some people just do um, like the sports, ball, all the balls, like golf ball, basketball, soccer ball. So I think Tung and I are going to do a fun one as well. Well, right now we're thinking about alcohol <laughs> which alcohol he's gonna choose like wine tequila whiskey i don't know if there's a fun one let me know guys so i already booked a space that one was just i had to do it fast because i know that May and June is the graduation season, so a lot of people are booking places to, you know, have a graduation party. So I had to do the first. So that I'm as long as that one's done, like I'm pretty like set. Um, like the decorations and everything. Obviously, it's not going to be as like grand as uh, like a wedding reception, but I still want to put a little bit more effort in it to decorate the tables, decorate the venue. Uh, right now, I am thinking about doing like a balloon garland for like Aiden's like um, <clears throat> table uh, because you set you put a lot of stuff on the baby's table like cakes, flowers, and there's like rice cakes that like resembles like door the birthday. 
not resemble, but it like says to her. Mm. I think right now my biggest concern, or and it's not concern, biggest like decision that I cannot happen to, to make. I don't know what kind of cuisine I'm going to go with. I feel like if I do Korean food, it's going to be hearty and um, everyone's going to be familiar with it. Who doesn't love Korean food? <clears throat> but at the same time, I feel like it doesn't really fit the vibe of the venue and the event. Um, I mean like, I mean the event is Korean, but I don't know, just like if you look at the venue and if the vibe that I want, like I don't really want Korean food to be there. So I thought about sandwiches and I'm like, okay, my parents are inviting their friends and I don't know if they'll be happy with sandwiches because they are older people. And they are Korean, so I don't know if they will be happy with sandwiches. So I, right now, I think my best bet is like American Italian. <sighs> Definitely nothing like steak or, you know, none of those. That's too fancy for a lunch event. <laughs> It's weird because I love, I loved planning out my wedding. I, I just loved every day of it. I was never stressed. But even if I was stressed, it was like, I love it. Like, you know, like I'm doing, I'm making my day. Like I'm planning out my day with someone that I love. So like nothing wasn't as stressful. But this, not that I don't love Aiden. And it's fun still but it's like not as like I don't know what it is it's not stressful but I know it will be fun once I get more deep into it but right now I'm, I, I feel like I just can't focus yeah I got the venue but I don't think I had a maybe that's what it is I don't think I have the freedom to plan <laughs> maybe that's what it is because I feel like if I had the time to sit, okay, I have good, like, entire day to plan out, call these venues, call these, like, caterers and all that. You know, like, how I'm gonna do great. If I had the time to do that, the luxury to do that, I think I would have enjoyed it a little bit, or I would start enjoying it a little bit more. But because I don't have that, I have, like, 10 minutes here and there throughout the day where I could plan. Um, I think that's why it's just, like, I can't really fully devote myself to it. But, yeah, we'll see. But thankfully, it's not, like... It's not a event as big as a wedding. A lot of people don't really invite that many people. They do it with like really close friends and family. Um, but Tong apparently had a giant birthday party for him. Like his parents gave him a really huge party in Korea when he was one. And apparently like 200 people came and Tong's like, I want that for my child. I'm like, well, we don't know 200 people. Um, so let's stick to like under 100. So we are having about like 70 to 80 people coming um, or inviting and if I'm inviting that many people, I don't want to just like have a venue and like let them just come and like celebrate. I want to make it pretty. I want to make it worth for them to come and celebrate with us. So yeah, there's a lot to do but you know like I said, I will get there and I'll be very excited to do this. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I am sorry that Aiden was not able to join today, but uh, he's just upstairs having fun. I just thought he, I didn't, like this room is so dry. Like one, like if Aiden spends like 10 minutes down here, like he just like gets so dried up. I'm like, okay, you're not coming down here for a while. And on top of that, I wanted to kind of film alone without any interruptions or distractions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.